What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Daily Grey. First agenda, first thing on the agenda, not first agenda on the thing, is let the big fella out. Thought it be before, oh, hello, before my Skype session. Um, I've got a Skype session any minute really. Um, I've told my I'm running a bit late. I'm just gonna make a coffee and stuff. Make sure you've had a pee and a drink and whatever you need, get out of there. What is, what is this doing? A big sticky one. This is open for a reason. We'll get into that another day in the near future. Flat, come on, get out of there. Come on, get, get. Get, get moving, get out. Close this actually, because Flack just cannot resist. A good sniff around the garage. Go on, get them. You have not got them. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. He's barely pooing since putting on Edmonds, Edmondsons. And I don't mean barely pooing as in like once every four days. I mean, he poos probably once a day. Banging. Um, well, since putting on Edmondsons fish, I put him on Edmondsons duck. Um, and Khaleesi loved it. But this idiot shit through the eye of a needle. So we had to sack that off for a bad job. Um, I think he might be duck intolerant. Or oh, there's certainly, are you kidding me? There's certainly something in there that he that doesn't agree with him. Um, but he's fine on the fish one, so far. All is well. Uh, Khaleesi Updates spoke to the vets yesterday and they said, let's keep resting her. Um, purely because this COVID stuff's on. All right, bro. Bro, you get in there for a bit. Go chew your bone. I'm gonna make a coffee and then you can come in the office with me. Okay. Um, while this COVID stuff's on, obviously they're taking Genuine emergencies only. And they said, if it wasn't on, we probably would x-ray at this point, or scan, or start delving in anyway. Um, as it is on, they can't do anything. Um, so it's a case of keep resting, lead everywhere, um, and 10 minutes a day, poddling around the arena. So I stick her on a flexi lead. I did it yesterday. This was just yesterday, this conversation happened, by the way. It wasn't like a week ago. I've not been missing for ages. Um, stick her on the flexi. One second. Let her just move around the arena. And then the only other time she's off the lead is when she's in uh, that bit next to my house to go for a pee and a poo, because she doesn't charge around enough. Uh, no concussion, as in jumping, landing on things. Zero, picking her in and out of the box. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. That's where we're at with that. Who is this? Um, I need to go and get on with this Skype session. Uh, the shit weather again today, but this is what it is. And I'll catch up with you all soon. Right, so, Skype session done. Good one, that. Enjoyed that. Really enjoyed my Skype sessions. Like I said, um, I didn't... <clears throat> I didn't think I'd enjoy them as much as I do. Um, but I do. Thoroughly enjoying them. Got myself a drink, just about to jump on Facebook Live. Uh, been on the phone to Adam about the website, that's all coming along hunky dory as it should be. Uh, been playing with this because I can't put it down. Then on the agenda, I've got a written down to do list, I can't think what order it's in. I think after this live, it's um, upload the Mastermind Journal. For those of you that don't know, members and non members alike, the Mastermind Journal is a, a new feature on the Academy every Monday. We produce a roughly 1500 word document, uh, a PDF, on various dog training topics. So last week's was engagement and value. This week's is lead walking and proofing, proofing behaviours. So essentially making a behaviour good across the spectrum, no matter where you are, what you're doing or what's around. Um, then after that, it's train flack. So I'll get that on video. Then after that, I think it's Exercise Khaleesi, which I won't get on video because it's me walking around the arena with a lead and a dog. It is not the most exciting footage in the world, so I think I'll just save the vlog time and not bother filming it. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with Flack yet. 
not thought that far ahead. I need to go on track really, but I'm so busy with other things at the moment. It's just getting pushed to the wayside. Um, and this is the nature of life sometimes. Sometimes your actual training, that you know, your results-based training gets pushed to the wayside a bit and that's fine. You just have to accept the consequences of that. So I've always said results or excuses, not both. My excuse here is that I'm very busy trying to build a new website and, you know, start, start improving the academy for everyone. Um, but that means the results from my actual training aren't, aren't going to be there as quick. And that's fine. If you can accept the fact that it's results or excuses, not both, then I'm not saying you can't make an excuse. I'm just saying be realistic about what you're going to get from it. Um, so that's, that's just, just what it is. I will get back to training properly, properly. Uh, we're in lockdown. I'm trying to make the best use of this time um, by improving the academy for everyone, whilst me and other people who are needed to do that um, have got free time. It takes time to do these things. It takes time to build new infrastructures and film a load of videos and write masterminds and do webinars every week and try and help you all in a group. It's time consuming. Um, but I'm still training every day. Rosie Bingham. Welcome to the Academy, if you're watching. <laughs> Someone's just joined the Academy. Um, I'm still training every day. I'm still doing work. We're just sort of on maintenance kind of work. So I'm just going over the things they already... Obviously, Khaleesi's doing fuck all, which is shit. Um, that's killed my mojo to train hugely. Because I have this routine where I train Khaleesi and then I train Flack, or I train Flack and then I train Khaleesi. And you take that away and I'm like, I've only got one dog to train today. This is not as fun. Um... So yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Maintenance training. Maintenance training, for those of you that don't know what it is, flack, that's all do, is um, where you're just going over the things the dog already knows to keep them fresh, keep them moving, keep them active. Uh, flack spent the full hour and a half Skype session in here with me. So we've had some nice time together. I'm enjoying just time with my dogs as well. I'm not going to lie. I'm enjoying time with the dogs without the pressure of what we're doing, what we're focusing on, what's next. It's nice. I'll be bored of it very soon. I want to go back to property training. Um, but very soon, I'm sure we'll be out of this lockdown and we can get back to it. I think it's day 20 now, though. Day 20 of lockdown. <sighs> right, I did Khaleesi's 10-minute stupid walk before um, before I trained Flack. So that's done. I've just got back in from that. I've just been on the phone to Adam about the new website. Everything is going as it should be, as it's planned to be. Um, so now I'm going to train Flack. That's next on my list. And I don't know what's on the list after that. I need to, in fact, let me look now. Right, what's next on the agenda? After training flack is something that I'm gonna do now because I'm sat here and it makes sense to do it. <coughs> I'm just putting a post up on the members only group to say that the new Mastermind Journal is available to, to, to um, view. Is that a word? There we go. Episode 2, Mastermind Journal. Now live. Fuck. Now live. There we go. Post that. I'll do a post on Instagram as soon as I put this down as well. Uh, then I'm going to train Flack. And then I need to do my um, social media stuff. So I need to post on Facebook, post on Instagram. Post to TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, by the way, go over there. Follow me on TikTok. I'm quite enjoying it. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit full of young people at the moment, but that will change as the as the app develops. Instagram used to be just for nerdy photographers. Facebook used to just be for students. LinkedIn used to be just for business owners. These these uh, apps and platforms develop, which is why the likes of Gary Vee are so big on jumping on them. Because it'll all change. Um, and then when TikTok's bigger than Facebook, which it might not be, but it might be, um, Gonna wish you jumped on earlier. So if you're a dog trainer, you've got business, get on TikTok. Um, yeah, I'll do my social. So I just try and provide value to everyone every day in some way or another. I don't know I'm gonna write today's post on. I've not really thought about it. I'll think about it when that time comes. So I'm gonna now go and train a la Flack Bar, Sir Walrus, Sir Buffington, Booth Head, Idiot Features, whatever you wanna call him. What are we going to do? What are we going to train? I think we might train retrieves. I think we might train retrieves. Maybe I can get it done in here. So what I'm going to work on, I've just decided, is, um, is duration of the hold and the distraction of the hold. So you'll see me doing things like tapping the dumbbell, pulling the dumbbell, touching him, 
making him hold it for a longer amount of time. All of that jazz. So um, maybe I won't put music over this one. Yeah, I'm going to not put music over this one. However, I absolutely 100% need a clicker. I ideally want a finger clicker. So I can just, you can get clickers. I've got loads of them somewhere, but I, I lose them all, all the time. I've got a little uh, rubber ring on the back and you just slide it over your finger so you don't have to hold it. Um, but this'll do, this'll do. I just need to get rid of this god awful thing because what the hell is that? That's horrific, isn't it? How do I get rid of this god awful thing? Let's peel you out there, like so. One god awful thing. What the fuck is that even for? Oh, I know what it's for. So once upon a Christmas, that was probably looped like that. So you could put it over your wrist, but... Who even does that? If you do that, it's some kind of fucking weird sociopath. Right, let's train Flack. Oh, right, Flack, blah. Let's do some training. Let's get you some food. Oh, I found my finger clicker. Ideal. Plus. Super. Also, if you're wondering why I'm feeding him on the floor, it's purely because I actually can't be asked to be covered in slobber. That's the only reason there. Back. Super boy. Oh. 
So as you can see, he's got to wait for the click to spit this out. Um, I'll do one more, and then I'll turn the camera off, because there's no point in us doing 15, 20 minutes of you watching this, is that it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Plack. Bring. Bring. Right. right, we're going to carry on. <clears throat> like I said, there's no point in me filming 20 minutes of that. It's, a, it's very boring to watch. Uh, but this is what training is. This is what we're training today. Working on these retrieves. Having fun, enjoying it. Right, that's all my social media jazzy done. Flax trained. Good session. We had a really good session. Uh, Khaleesi's done her 10 minutes of exercise. I need to write a mastermind journal for next week. Um, not entirely sure what to write it on, but we shall see. What shall I write on? I've, I don't know why I'm saying that, because even if I thought of what to write on, I wouldn't be telling everyone on the vlog now. Because uh, it's a surprise. All right, let's get your bowl. Here we get back in there. Slack. Spin. Also, I'm excited to unveil. Oh, your ball's not that. Oh, you're shaking, mate. No, you're all shaking. You're shaking because you're getting fed. I'm excited to unveil what the plans are um, here in the near future. But until we've got more definitive answers on what's happening with a lockdown, um, we cannot start it. And until we can start it, I don't really want to release it to you because it's counterintuitive. Right, banging. Mastermind journal written. It's now half six. I am about done ish uh, for the night. I obviously, need to edit edit of whatever's filmed from today's vlog. I don't think I'm going to upload upload it. Um, I think I'll do another day. Um, just because obviously these these vlogs, whilst we're in lockdown, are not are not the most exciting in the world. I appreciate that. I try and make them as interesting slash informative as I can. But it's difficult when you've got um, sweet fuck all to do all day that's remotely interesting. I'm not training any clients. I've got my Skype sessions, obviously, but I can't really film them. Um, I'm not going out training anywhere. I'm not going to see other trainers. I'm not spending any time training with Shane. You know. There's only so much you can do, isn't there, when you're on your own in a 90,000 square foot facility. And they mooch my dogs around. It's just not the most exciting, exciting thing in the world. God, Pippin just clocked me. He's coming fucking running over the garden. Look at him. Angry little bastard. You're such an angry creature. I've got no interest in your females. Just leave me alone. Bloody thing. Right. Time to feed the dogs. Um, I think I'll end this part of the vlog here. One second. So I guess I'll catch you in the morning. I'm going to feed the dogs, bring them in the house, chill, see what else needs to do with the website. Um, but I'll see you in the morning. Right, day two of the vlog. Also, look, I've got another fucking spot. I'm covered in them at the moment. Got me some sort of stress related thing, surely. I'm going to plop you there while I make the coffee. So, agenda today is I've already put flak out in the kennel because it's absolutely roasting. Uh, so he's not going to appreciate being in the house or in the van or in the office because he just that's tea. Don't think about that devil's work. Where's my coffee? Ah. Um, yeah, Flack just is not about the warm life. It's not. It's not for him. He's about the nice and cool life. So he's in his kennel, happy as Larry, happy as a pig in shit. Happier than what Rottweiler in a cool kennel. Um, rambling. Coffee. That's why I'm rambling. I had a coffee today. It's beautiful out there. Um, so in a couple of hours, I'm jumping on a Skype call with one of my academy guys, Bella. Um, been working with Bella for a long time. She's got a working line lab, so we're just brushing up on some uh, more advanced stuff. One second, let me get the milk. Of the milk in the 
Here we go. Boom. One cold coffee. Yeah, so I'm doing my major parts, guys. Well, that's at uh, 12. It's currently 5 to 10. Um, beautiful. Yeah, and we'll, we'll get on that. What a gorgeous day it is, though. I hope it stays like this. Um, then I'm going to do my Facebook Live, usual stuff. Um, and I think... Think. Not entirely sure. It might take uh, might take flat tracking today. If it cools off a little bit. And if you've got time and nothing else gets in the way. Oh shit. So I do need my e-liquid. Right, I'm gonna go and um, write me emails, reply to emails, all the boring stuff that I have to do first thing in the morning every day. Uh, and then Khaleesi, go and lie down. Ah. Life. and then and then i'm gonna um i'm stepping over my baby here uh jump on this live with bella what i need is this which is in the spare room for any of you like why is it going in the spare room i mean i'm 95 percent of you won't have noticed um but my liquid is in the spare room because i was playing on the xbox with shane johnny john dan and adam last night and Nisha would not appreciate it if I was sat next to her going, Fuck off! You shot me! Bastard! She wouldn't be about that life. She would be pissed. Right, work time. Work time. And then hopefully, I really fancy going tracking. So I think, I think that's what we'll do. Go tracking. I've come to a conclusion. I might not be tracking today now. Because I've just remembered, I want to clean my van seats like, properly. And today seems like a good a good day to do it. It's a nice day. It's warm. I'm just going to go and trek on flak bar. Um, so there's a good chance, providing the, the uh, wet vac suction cleaning malarkey is working and has fluid, then I'll be doing that. Um, if it's not, then I'll go trekking. But it's um, extremely warm and probably a better day to do that than to work the dog. I'll obviously train him later on. Uh, don't know what to work on today though. I'm a bit lost with him. I'm a bit lost with it all at the moment. Hey bro! He's a super boy. Super blacky! Why haven't you pooed? You haven't pooed for nearly 24 hours. Oh you have, sir. Never mind. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fuck. Oh, she's yeah. oh, super flaky. She's super flaky. You like her, but scratchy, scratchy, yeah. Scratchy, scratchy. Hello, my name's Shirley, and I'm a fucking Shirley. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then I might just have a bit of a fun session with Flack later on. Let's do a bit of heel work. Fuck around and kick a ball. Maybe we'll just teach a trick or something. A bit lost, you know, because we can't compete. We can't go to club. Khalees is injured, and for the foreseeable paddock stuff, she doesn't seem to be healing very quickly, if at all, um, which is not good. She needs x-ray really, but they won't x-ray her. Um, however, if it's still going on by next week, I'm going to push for that. Um, but it's hard. To, it's hard, isn't it? Until you, until you've got, until you know what's wrong, it's hard to know what to do. So yeah, I'm just a bit, a bit lost with it all, really. But hey, we just keep plugging on, keep plugging on. Alright, so that side done, as you can see, nice and clean. I'm just on this side now. We're uh, we're getting through it, but look at this. Look how disgusting this is. You see that water in there? You see the colour of that? That was clear. So that's that's af after you. Oh, can I pull that out? 
Ow, does it pull off? It probably does pull off, but I don't know how. So that's after. You can see that's fucking disgusting. And this is the water before. Clear. Grim. So yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, I've done it all. I'm just gonna give it all a blast over. Look how badly that seat's warm. Nightmare. Looks loads better. And then I'm gonna sort this out. Bits of rubbish and grimness. And I'm just gonna give the inside a wash. And then I might even go tracking. Right, one inside of the van clean. Beautiful. I mean, it's not spotless by any stretch, but it's clean enough for a dog van. Doesn't need to be stupid, does it? Also, this is uh, back to black. Just creates a shine, but it takes a while to go off, as it were. It sits like a milky white, and then it goes all black. But yeah, much better. Much better. It's on there as well, look. <laughs> Just don't wipe it all off. It goes like that, though, in the end. See how it's, like, shiny. Beautiful. One job down. One job down. Also, I just said I might go tracking. I'll see. I'm definitely not going to be going tracking, am I? Because my van's soaking wet now. All my seats are wet. The sun god is against me today. Um, so I finished cleaning the van, and just just sort of just so I finished it just before I filmed that last clip, the clouds started coming over. I'm like, oh, banging our train flat now then. Um, <laughs> and now literally, I'm still need to go and put the Hoover away. I'm also letting the van air out so it dries quicker. Look at that now. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's absolutely fucking boiling out here. I mean, don't get me wrong. As a human being, I'm not complaining at all. But as a Rottweiler, Flack will not enjoy this. So Flack's going to have to wait a bit longer. Unfortunately. Um, but we will, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. I'll write my emails instead now. Um, beautiful. Beautiful weather. Beautiful weather, the van's nice and clean. I'm really happy with how it's come out. Beautiful. Like I say, it's a dog van, it doesn't need to be clean clean. I'll tell you what else is weird. The cars now, the parts in here. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. If you can see it anyway. Look at this dust on them. They've all got it. Merc's the same. Might be able to see it there, 100%. How weird is it? Bizarre. It's all over. It's like it's coming from trees, but we don't have any big trees around. I mean, we've got them right over there. Um, and then this is just conifer. They're the only trees that are around. And obviously them all the way over there. But they're miles away. It's like there's dust falling from somewhere. The BM's exactly the same as well. In fact, it's probably worse. Look at that. Strange. It's only happened since lockdown started. Um, never seen it before on them. Obviously, uh, I guess maybe I've never seen it before because they've got actual road dirt on them usually. And at the moment, they haven't really. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some emails. Wait for this sun to go in a little bit. Um, this is the downside of summer. Obviously, it's beautiful to be out. It's great to have the dogs just sort of mooching around. But if you want to get anything productive done, anything high energy done, Got to wait for the sun to go in, which means later nights. But I'd rather have late nights and warm days than early nights and fucking dark and raining and grim. Disgusting. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, I've been on FaceTime with Shane for about an hour, hour and a half, um, sorting out this project that I keep telling you about. I think what I'm going to do, and then my phone died, so I can't do anything. Um, I still haven't tried Flack yet. I'm going to try and get a little session done with him. Hopefully soon, um, before it gets dark. But Misha's just had dinner as well, so... And this is the reality. Sometimes time runs away with you. Sometimes you're busy. Sometimes life gets in the way. Nature of the game. Um, so what I can do if I can't get a session done while it's still dark is do something in here. Um, I'll do some, I don't know, anything. There's a million things I can do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tell you about this project, I think, um, as soon as my phone's charged. So I'm going to go and show you it. Um, I'm going to go and show you the bits and bats around it. Uh, so stay tuned. Coming up in this vlog. Will be um, will be a bit of that, a bit of what we're gonna get done. What this project is? <sighs> right, flex back in the van. Can hear someone what? Something that sounds like someone looking for a dog. Someone shouting and whistling. 
Um, I've just trained Flack and then Philip pulled in. We just did some heel work. It was nothing exciting, but my form was on charge, so I couldn't do anything about it. Um, but he should be goosed now. We had a good, a good flirt pull. Um, right, this project. So this is currently the garage. It's a bit of a dumpy ground, a bit of a nothing, but I want to document the whole process of this uh, because why not? So my plan is to essentially turn this into my office slash an indoor training area slash filming studio. Now, as you can see, that's a long way off. So what we're gonna do, uh, currently a lot of this pointing, so the pointing on this back wall is fine, um, but a lot of the pointing on this wall has holes in it. So the first thing we need to do is repoint the whole garage. So we're gonna repoint it all, everything. Um, and then we're going to paint it all with a waterproof paint. Um, sorry, I was just reading a text message that came through. Uh, we're going to seal all the edges. Down here. So they're all going to get sealed. Um, then we're going to run insulation all through these braces. Um, we're going to paint all the walls with a waterproof paint. We're going to board the ceiling. Um, board and paint the ceiling, so that'll be plastered and then either skimmed or um, turned seamless. Uh, then we're going to board all the walls, so there'll be um, the, the things that I can't remember what they're called. You know, when people build artificial walls in their house. Uh, st stud, stud walling down here. Uh, so we'll build all that frame out there, same along the back, same along the side. Um, then we're going to level this floor, so we're going to we're going to pull these bricks up, chuck a big concrete truck in, level it all off, throw a self-leveler on the top of it so it's nice and smooth. Then on this side, I'm going to lay um, a hard-wearing lino. Um, and then on this side, I'm going to lay artificial grass. We're going to put a big TV on the wall. My desks are going to go here. We're going to put a sofa in, little desk, coffee machine, dog boxes. Uh, so we've got a dog room that's big enough to train in. It's big enough to do stuff in. Like if you stand out here, it's some massive old... It's a massive old thing. Uh, that trailer is a double dog trailer for perspective. Where you can see the size of a chair or an extension lead. Um, but it's a big old room. I think it's about six and a half meters long, about five meters wide. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Paint it all, make it look nice, hang some pictures. Um, might commission someone to do some art pieces for there and there, maybe a flack and Khaleesi or something. Big TV. Um, so it's gonna essentially be a man cave slash office. This part will be the office. Um, I'll put my coffee machine in here. We'll put some other bits and bobs in here. And then all of this side. So from there, all the way down that brick line, all of that, that's just gonna be artificial grass. So we can train things like article indication. I can get better quality videos for you all. Um, so that will start in the very near future because I'm gonna try and use this lockdown. It's been a nightmare. I've been trying to get um, stand and cement to do that pointing and nowhere had any. But I've just been back on B&Q's website after being on an hour-long wait list and they've got it and it can be here on, is it Tuesday now? Uh, day after tomorrow now. Yeah, it's Tuesday now. It says up here. So what that means is we can get going with that. Um, so I've got ordered um, two things of masonry waterproofer, which isn't going to be enough, but it'll be enough to get going. Uh, 12 bags of sand, three bags of cement, which should be enough to do all the pointing. Um, handboard, trowel, buckets, paintbrushes. Uh, so I can get cracked on with that um, and we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. Uh, right, I'm just about done for the day now. I just need to feed flak. Feed flak bar. Um, bring him in the house. Looks bang in this. How oh, nice and clean that is. Does it smell good? Avid. Avidness. Let's have that before it locks itself in. Look, they've even got a nice shiny steering wheel. Avid. Avid. Um, yeah, so I'll feed Flack, bring him in the house. And then see what the evening brings. I feel like I've got something to do. I don't feel like I've been busy enough today. Who knows? Who knows? Good feeling though. Been fucking so busy lately. 
painfully, painfully busy. Um, but yeah, hopefully with, with that, um, it'll massively help increase um, the production quality of all the videos. It means we can film year round. It means we've got somewhere inside to sit when there's workshops on so we can do all the theory stuff in here. Um, I mean, it's going to take a long, long, long time to do. I mean, it's going to be a few months at least, I would imagine. Um, even, even just repointing these walls, it's going to be days and days of work. And obviously I don't have all day where I can just stand in here and point. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Also, has anyone seen the new iMac Pro that Apple have released? God, it's sexy. A proper Apple nerd. Um, I'm not an Apple snob by any stretch of imagination. Oh, also, if anyone knows any sites to get good discount, massive smart TVs, I want a huge TV for that wall. So we're going to put the logo on it and stuff. Um, but it also means for when we do workshops and things, I can run presentations off it. Um, or even for webinars and things like that. Um, I just think it'll be a better space, won't it? It'll be a better space than in here. In here's a bit small. Um, so what we'll do with this is either get rid of it. Oh, I can't decide to get rid of it. Or we'll, or we'll use it as a shed for shed things. Um, right, I'm going to sign off here. Sorry there hasn't been, I don't think, any dog training in this vlog. It's just how it is at the moment. Things are a bit all over the place. Things are in the middle of, you know, a big change up and move overs and um, trying to increase the quality of the academy, trying to build with, um, build a website with Adam, trying just to get everything better, improve everything for everyone. New Mastermind Journal is out now at the time this goes up um, on loose lead walking and oh, proofing behaviours. Um, I've written next week's journal. That's ready to go out, so that'll be out on Monday. Stay tuned, I'll let you know what it's about near the time. And webinar on Friday. Don't know what we'll do that on. We'll see. Um, so, question of the day. What do you think about the new project? Do you have any uh, ideas for it? Anything you'd like to see? Um, obviously, behavioural stuff, reactivity and stuff, is not going to be big enough for that. But, uh, you know, when we're teaching positions or anything, middle of winter, it means we've got a nice, warm place to be. It'll just be better, won't it? It'll just be so much better. Bit more space, somewhere inside, somewhere warm, somewhere to teach workshops, somewhere to film webinars and videos. We're gonna get some studio lighting put in. Um, all will be good. So question of the day is what do you think about the new uh, studio and what would you like to see in there?